In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a click to call button like this onto your WordPress website. How's it going guys? I'm Yaz from the Brainstorm Force team, creators of the Astro WordPress theme, the most popular theme in the world, back with another WordPress tutorial for you guys. We create WordPress videos for beginners and non-coders. So if you want to improve your WordPress skills, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on your notifications. And as I mentioned, I'll be showing you how to add a click to call button onto your WordPress website. And this is a button that the visitors can click, which would give them your contact number or WhatsApp. This can make it extremely convenient for your customers or clients because it will be super easy to contact you, resulting in a much better overall experience for them when using your website. Now, if you guys are ready, let's jump into the tutorial. All right, for this tutorial, I've got two different methods for you. One will be on how to create a simple button on your WordPress default Gutenberg block editor. This method is for those of you that want to create a static button for your website so that visitors can click to call or WhatsApp without using a plugin. In the second method, I'll be using a really cool plugin to create a hovering click to call button, just like I showed you in the intro of this video. This button will be very customizable and it gives you a whole variety of different options on what you can do with the button too. If you want to jump to any of these methods, I'll leave timestamps for those chapters in the progress bar below. For both the methods, I'll be demonstrating using this beautiful website you see here. It's a brand new install of WordPress with the Astra theme on top. And I've gone ahead and loaded up one of Astra's starter templates, which is basically a pre built website that I've installed in just a few clicks. If you want to check out Astra, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. Let's get started with method one. I'm going to scroll down here below and I've actually added a little section here where we can add some contact buttons as well. So I'm just going to go up here to edit page. And right at the bottom, this is where we'll be adding some buttons. So you can go ahead and press the plus button here and we're going to look for button buttons right here. I'm going to press that and it's going to add a little button right here. And for this button, I'm going to title it call us. And what we'll do is assign the phone number of this business to this button. So what will happen then if a visitor is on their phone and clicks on this button, it will automatically open up their phone app with your number filled in. In the same way, if you're using a desktop, it will automatically prompt you to open up whatever phone software you're using so that you can ring that number. So after that, we're just going to click on this icon here, link. And to add a phone number first, you must type in TEL, like telephone, TEL like that. And then you can proceed to add in your phone number of your choice. And just for an example, I'm just going to enter a random number. So it should look something like this, but except instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's going to be your phone number or the phone number for your business. And once you're ready to proceed, you can press enter. And that will look like this. You can see here, your phone number is right there. You can even toggle whether it's going to open up in a new tab or not. So I'm just going to toggle that right now. But once that's done, you can click away and this button will have that already assigned. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to add a new button. And for this one, we're going to say WhatsApp us. In the same way, we're going to open a link. And with WhatsApp, it's a little bit different. I'm going to open up this link here. And this shows you how you can set up a WhatsApp chat or WhatsApp call. And if you set up this link correctly, what's going to happen is when a visitor is on their phone and clicks on this WhatsApp button on your website, it's going to automatically open up the WhatsApp application with your phone number page and the conversation already open and then they can call you or text you on that page. In the same way, if you're using a desktop, it'll open up a new tab on the WhatsApp page, prompting them to connect their WhatsApp account so they can message or call the phone number that you've listed. All right, so this is the format that you can use right here. It's basically like this, wa.me slash, and then you enter your number. So make sure you don't enter it like this, how you normally would write it down. You'd want to enter it like this. So, th so this is the example right here. So now I'll go back, I'll copy this just for reference here. And we're going to go back to our button. We're going to click on the link button right here and we're going to write that in. And we're going to replace this again with the phone number we got. A hypothetical one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once you're ready again, you can press enter and that'll be assigned to the button. And if you want to create a similar button, but with email and SID, you can do the same thing. Add a new button just like that. And we're going to give it a link. But instead of writing telephone like the first one, we're going to write mail to just like that and you can write in your email address just like that and press enter and that'll be set up just the same. So whenever a visitor clicks on this, it'll open up their default email application with your email address automatically entered as a recipient. And that's how you set these static buttons up. And now let's go and check it out. And don't forget to update at the top right. And I'll scroll down all the way to the bottom right here. And you can see the three buttons we've added. So if I press the call us button, it asks us to pick an application. It says make a call from right here. 
So it's indicating that it's working correctly, it's automatically going to call whichever number you've entered. In the same way on my phone, if I scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page, you can see the three buttons we've created. I'm going to press call us. As you can see, it's automatically opened up my phone app with that phone number already entered. Now you can go ahead and press ring and call the number easily. It's really convenient, right? And if I choose to press WhatsApp us instead, you can see that it opens up the WhatsApp website and you can press to continue to chat or you can download the app down here. So if I press continue to chat, you can either use the WhatsApp web application where you can log in using a QR code or you can download a desktop application right here. I won't get into that right now. We're gonna go back to our website. And the same exact thing would work on the phone as well. And if you press the WhatsApp button on the phone, it will open up the WhatsApp app with that chat window already open. But you just have to make sure that the number you enter is already registered with a WhatsApp account. And the last one here, email us. So if I press that, you can see that it automatically opened up Outlook, which is a default email application on my computer. Again, with email us, if you click it on your phone, it will open up your default email application with an email already created addressed to the email address you've entered for that button. It's really simple to set up, right? And that's how you add a simple click to call or click to WhatsApp button on your WordPress website. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's move on to method number two. So first we're gonna go into our WordPress dashboard. All right, here we are on our WordPress dashboard. Now we're gonna go into our plugins menu and install the plugin we're gonna be using. So go down into plugins here and click on add new. And the plugin we're gonna be looking for is called Buttonizer. So you can search for that on the right hand side here. Buttonizer, just like that. And the one we're looking for is this one here with the smiling robot you see. And we're gonna press install now. And we're also gonna activate it. On this page, it's basically asking you if you wanna opt in so that the creators of the plugin can use your data from the plugin to improve it for future versions. So I'm just gonna click skip right here. And this brings us into Buttonizer's dedicated menu. No, this is not a page builder, this is Buttonizer's menu right here. And it looks kind of like a page builder, doesn't it? But anyway, at the top here, you see the group name and it's referring to the group of buttons we'll be creating. And it's already gone ahead and created a default button right here. You can see the icon so we're gonna be customizing this button and adding some functionality to it. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is renaming this group here. I'm gonna click there and click rename, and we're gonna call it click to call. Just like that, I'm gonna press confirm. And then when we expand this, you can see down here, add button. And for this first one, we're gonna call it call us, just like that, and we're gonna press confirm. And it will take some time for it to refresh. And once that does, you can see right here, you can click on this button to show the two sub buttons that we've just created. So the default one right here, as well as the one we've just added right here. This one right here is call us and we're gonna rename the top one right here to WhatsApp us, just like that. So basically we're gonna create one button to call and one button to WhatsApp. So first we're gonna modify the color of this main button and the icon as well. So I'm gonna click on right here, settings. And the first option you see here is label text. So we can add a label to this button here that shows up on the left-hand side with a custom message of your choice. For example, we can write something like, you need help, just like that. And you can see right here, right beside the button, we see our need help label. So we can leave that as is, it's pretty good. And what's really cool about this plugin is you can also modify where this button is gonna be on your web page. So right now it's on the bottom right, but if we wanted to, we can move it onto the middle middle right hand side as well it's going to refresh right now you can see right in the middle of the page and we can move it right into the center of the page just like this and i really wouldn't recommend that because it's really distracting as you move up and down the website i'd recommend you put it on one of the bottom left or right corners and usually the bottom right is the perfect spot so i'm just going to leave it there if i drop this down the menu style you can see currently it's set to default on both the opening animation and the style. And over on the style tab, you can actually change the shape of this button here. Currently it's a circle. You can change it to a square or a rectangle. And yes, we are using the free version of this plugin. Even with the free version, we get so many different customization options and I think that's amazing. And when you upgrade to the pro version, of course you get some additional functionality, which I'll cover later on in the video. But anyway, we just changed this into a rectangle shape you see here. Still think the default circle shape suits it the best because it kind of matches the rounded buttons we see on the rest of the website. You can also modify some of the menu settings here where you can leave it start open. 
what that means is the menu will sit open as we arrive on the website, like this. But I like that most of it's hidden by default, providing a much cleaner look. And now we're going to go onto the Style tab at the top here, and we're going to change the color for the button. So what I wanted to do is kind of match this red, red accent color we have on the website. So I'm going to go down here and try my best to select a color that looks very similar to that. Something like that. I think it looks pretty similar to this button here. Not exactly the same, but I think it does the job. And what's really cool is because we changed the color for that group button, it's automatically gone and changed the color for the sub buttons we see here too. And it also gives you the option to change the color once you hover over it, like it was default. So we can change that as well. I'm just going to click on here and I'm going to try select a green, like the icons we see here. And I quite like that. Hovering over the buttons changes the color to the green from the red. And that's really cool. And if you upgrade to the pro version, you can actually put in a background image too. And if we go down to icon now, we're going to change the icon. Right now it's a plus button. We're going to change it into a phone icon. I'm going to select that. And the reasoning behind this is that when a visitor sees this icon, they'll automatically know that this button will help them get in touch with you. And that's how it's going to look like. Hover over it and click it. They'll see the other options here. Now let's go ahead and customize these other options. So if I go back home on the top left here, you can see the two buttons we've created. Let's go ahead and customize the WhatsApp bus button. Over here, settings. And at the moment, by default, it's set to website URL. And this is the feature that I believe makes Buttonizer great. We already saw that it has a lot of customization options. It also gives you a lot of different functionality when it comes to the button options. So if I open this up, you'll see here that it gives you so many different options you can assign to this button. You have website URLs, calling, email, WhatsApp, Line, Telegram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, so many different options you can choose from. And that's what makes it amazing. And it's free. So for this one, we're going to add a WhatsApp chat. And instead of creating a link like we did in the first method, we can just enter a phone number right here. We just have to make sure that that phone number is associated with a WhatsApp account. I'm going to go ahead and enter my secret phone number. And this one's not associated with a WhatsApp account, <laughs> obviously, but this is just for the example. And down here, you see a message box as well. And what's really cool about this is when a visitor clicks on your WhatsApp button, it'll open up their WhatsApp application with your chat window open. And this message right here, whatever you write here, will already be pre-written in their message box. What you can use this for is to try and guide them and help them draft their message. So you can write something like this. Something like that. Hi, I need help with. And that will prompt them to write whatever they need help with. It's kind of like a suggestion. So I'll leave it like that as is. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we're going to go into style at the top and it's already set to the colors that we like. And you can also modify it to create a custom button if you'd like. So it's different from the rest of the buttons. So you can modify that here just by changing the color. We're going to go down here into icon. And we're going to look for WhatsApp. And you can see right here the WhatsApp icon. I'm going to click and open that and press select. And as you can see, it's replaced the default icon we had there with the WhatsApp icon. And currently it looks a little bit small compared to that one. So you can actually increase the icon size right here. And I think that looks a little bit better. And I'm happy with that icon right there. We're going to hit publish so it saves all our changes. And now we're going to go back to the home and we're going to modify the call us button. Again, press the settings button here. And we're going to adjust this button action. And then we're going to click on call action phone number. And again, we're going to type in my secret phone number. Just like that. And that's all done. And again, this is going to work the same as method one. When a visitor clicks on this button, it's going to open their default phone application with your number already entered. It's really simple. And now we're also going to change the style for this button as well. Once again, the color is already set for us. I'm going to go down into icon and we're going to select the phone icon. Right there, that one here. I'm going to select it. And there you go. Our button group is already set up and we have our WhatsApp button here and our phone button here. And I'm pretty happy with what we've created. Now let's publish this and test it out. I'm going to press publish over here. And once we refresh our web page, you can see now on the bottom right hand side, we have our new hovering click to call button. And it says need help with a label we created. And as we hover over, it changes from that red color to the green one. And when I click it, it brings up our two different buttons we see here, one to call and one to WhatsApp. So if I press the call button, you can see it opens up a tab here, say make a call from, pick an application. So it shows that it's working correctly. 
And once again on my phone as well, I've just refreshed the page. And as you can see here on the bottom right hand side, we see the hovering click to call button we created with the need help label. Tapping on the button, we see the two different buttons we created, one to call and one to WhatsApp. So if I click on the call button, it automatically opens up my phone application with the number we specified already entered. So now we can proceed to ring it if we want to. And in the same way, if we click on the button here and press WhatsApp, it's going to open up that same WhatsApp page where we can continue to chat right here, or we can download the app as well. Assuming that the number you entered is connected with a WhatsApp account, it'll work perfectly. The same thing on my phone. So if I press the WhatsApp button, it says that the phone number 12345678 isn't on WhatsApp. Again, assuming that the number you entered is associated with a WhatsApp account, it'll open up their chat window with the message we created. And that's it. That's how we can use the Buttonizer plugin to create this awesome hovering click to call button with all these customization options and features. And that's all with the free version, guys. But if you still want to check out the paid version and all its features, you can do so by coming to the WordPress dashboard like you see here and navigate down to the bottom right here where you see Buttonizer and you click on Upgrade. And that will bring you onto the screen here. On the left hand side, you have the free version with all the free features as well. And on the right hand side, you have the pro version. It's for $24.99 per year for one single site, and you can upgrade that to 10 sites for $89.99 or 1,000 sites for $149.99. And it has all the pro features down here if you're interested in checking it out. And those were two easy methods on how you can create a click to call button on your WordPress website. Which method will you be using? Will you use simple buttons like these as your click to call? Or will you use a hovering click to call button using Buttonizer? Let me know in the comments down below. And that's it for this video. If you guys got stuck with any part of the tutorial or if you had any questions, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And before you click away, if you got value from this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel by clicking on our logo over here and watch even more of our content by clicking over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.